Yo, welcome back everybody to another video. So today I got something uh, pretty pretty boring, but it is very, very important in my opinion. We have to talk about folder structure for our app. So we start off strong and while we develop through, we actually know what's going on. And you might be wondering, why do you want to talk? Why should there be a dedicated video on folder structure specifically? Well, let's say you're developing this app 10 years down the line. You want to know easily what's going on. You don't want a whole bunch of different components all over the place doing random things. You want to put it all in a structured environment so that when you look back 10 years down the line to make some changes, you can do that. So in today's video, we're going to talk exactly how to do that. And I'll show you guys how we're going to be structuring our folders and our project. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we do get started, I'm just going to quickly talk about what's happening in this boilerplate app that we just created. So if we open up our index.js file, we'll see a couple of lines of code where we're doing app registry dot register component app name, and then we're calling app. Now, basically what this is doing is it's just talking to our app.js file and it's rendering whatever's happening inside of there. So this is our app.js file and is returning well all of this section right here. Now we want to treat our index.js file as the entire app. So our entire app will be encapsulated in different parts. So when we do eventually add routing, if you've ever done anything with React Router, we're going to host our routing containers or sorry, navigation containers and all that sort of good stuff. And our app.js file itself will contain all of our routes that we're going to be rendering and allowing the user to go to. So that's pretty much all you really need to know. It's just these two files right here. And now what we're going to do is we need to create a new folder inside of our main directory. I'm going to call it SRC. So, well, whoops, not a new file. Let me delete that and create a new folder called SRC. And inside of here, I'm going to go ahead and move my app.js file into there. And in inside of my index.js file, I'm just going to go ahead and do dot dot slash, oops, dot slash src slash app like so and so now it's pointing towards this app js file now so after that we're going to create two folders our first one is going to be called components and after that we're going to create another folder in our src folder called images so our components folder is going to basically contain all of our components our files our pages uh, all of our common components. So let me just go ahead and save that index.js file. So inside of my components folder, I'm going to create another folder and I'm going to call it common. And after that, I'm going to create another folder inside of the components folder again, and we're going to call it pages. So we're going to treat our common folder as all of our common components. So what a common component is, is let's say you had to render a list of uh, uh, an alphabetical list of cat names. Well, if you wanted to uh, render that alphabetical list of cat names in the home page, but you also wanted to do it in, let's say, your account page, you wouldn't want to create two separate files to do the exact same thing. That's where a common component would come in to do the job of two things at once. And after that, our pages component, well, this is going to contain all of our pages, all of our um, React router pages, sorry, React navigation pages. So if we go into, let's say we click on anime and we see the, the actual anime, the description of the anime and the characters, well, that would be a separate page in itself. The home page would be a separate page um, and all that sort of good stuff from there. And after that, we have the images. This is just our images for the app. So let's say we want to add a custom um, splash screen. This is where we could put it, as well as our Android and iOS folders, but our images folder is going to contain all the images for the app. And after that, inside of our common folder, we're going to create another folder called hooks. And this is going to contain all of our hooks. So a hook is basically in our sense for this app is going to be API calls. So specific API calls to our Jikon API that we found earlier uh, in the last couple of videos. And for example, if you wanted let's say Naruto, uh, we would make a hook call to one of our hooks that we create and then we'll return Naruto back to us and then we display that. Very simple, that's it. And inside of our pages, I'm going to create another folder and I'll call it home and that's it. And our home folder is going to contain all the stuff associated to our home page in the app. Whatever we need to put, we'll put it inside of that folder and, us, and any other folder that we have. So let's say we had um, to list all the anime, 
that would be another page we would make a folder for that and so on and so forth like that cool so that concludes everything regarding folder structure now it's very basic i did my very best to make it as basic and it's easy to understand as possible if you did enjoy be sure to like and subscribe and in the next video we'll be talking about react navigation so stay tuned and i'll catch you all in the next one peace